Hey guys, this is Bryce with Fitec Fuel Injection. Today on Tech Tuesday, we're gonna discuss the serviceability of force fuel delivery systems. In front of me, I got our full line of force fuel delivery systems. Right here, we got the double pump force fuel system, the single pump force fuel, and our brand new force fuel mini. All of our force fuel systems come with the fuel pressure regulator mounted directly on top of them. All of these regulators are completely serviceable and can be found at any auto parts store. They're just a small little piece right here. They come from Bosch and they're available in different pressure ratings. The ones that come in all of our systems are the four bar version, which is 58 PSI. The fuel pressure regulators are held on by a retaining collar with two 530 seconds Allen head screws. All we gotta do is pop the two off and the regulator will pull off so we can interchange it with our replacement version. Certain reasons why you would wanna replace the regulator is you may have high fuel pressure and the screen underneath the regulator may be clogged. Another reason is you may have low fuel pressure, which could be internal damage to the regulator. The good thing is, is these are 100% serviceable and available at any auto parts store. So next, let's remove the bolts that hold the top plate onto the force fuel and get access to the fuel pump inside. Now that we've removed the six screws on the top of the force fuel, we could remove the top. Let's first note the O-ring seal on the top of the force fuel. This is a Viton seal, so it's completely safe with any type of fuel, like E85 and even methanol. Now that we got the top removed, let's take a look at the fuel pump. If you ever have a fuel pump fail on you, order part number 50103, and that'll be a replacement fuel pump, sock, and wiring connection that will fit directly into the force fuel delivery systems. This pump sock is identical to an in-tank fuel sock. It filters down to 100 microns and keeps the fuel pump safe. If this clogs, it will reduce fuel pressure because the fuel pump can't suck up enough fuel and you'll run into drivability issues on your EFI system. The good thing is, is these are available separately and if you need to replace a fuel pump, it comes along with the sock. In order to prevent this from happening, we recommend filtering prior to your transfer pump to not only keep that pump safe, but to also limit debris getting inside of the force fuel. That'll keep the longevity of the fuel pump and prevent you from clogging the sock too soon. You may notice that this force fuel has a submersible rubber hose in it. Some of our newer kits come with a nylon version. They are completely interchangeable and we can provide these separately if needed. When replacing your fuel pump, be sure to tighten your fuel outlet hose clamps securely. Failure to do so will allow fuel to bypass out the side and will reduce fuel pressure. If you need to replace the fuel pump, all you gotta do is loosen this clamp, take off your fuel outlet hose clamps, and disconnect your connector. From there, the fuel pump will slide out of the bottom and you could slide in your replacement. When you remove the top of the force fuel system, it's always a good idea to flush out the inside. Small debris can get in over time and there could be sediment down in the bottom. When you're ready to reassemble your force fuel system, be sure to drop it down evenly, not to knock the O-ring off of its seat. And when you install your screws, be sure to touch it with a little bit of blue Loctite. With the force fuel and the force fuel mini systems, it comes along with a post filter. This is a 10 micron filter, which is completely serviceable. So if you're running into a clogged filter situation, you just pull it out of your fuel line, you can unthread the end and access a filter inside that is a fine stainless steel mesh that you can pull off in service. Some of the nice features of the filter is there's a magnet on the end that will collect any type of metal debris to prevent it from getting onto the filter itself. To clean these filters, all it takes is a mild detergent such as 409 or dish soap and you could scrub the outside of the filter with a soft bristled brush. Once you go to install it again, make sure they're clean, so you may want to blow it out with a little bit of air or let it sit out in the sun and air dry. The difference between our force fuel system and our dual pump version 
is that there's two pumps inside of the force fuel on one of these. We also put two regulators in the top, so you could run the fuel pumps independently of each other. So if you want to be redundant and switch between pumps, you can, or you power them together and now you have double the fuel flow for even more horsepower capabilities. Now let's talk about the mini force fuel. As you can tell, the mini force fuel is much smaller than the original force fuel system. With its compact design, comes with more mounting capabilities. The traditional force fuel had a nice bracket that mounted to the bottom or to the back for mounting options, whereas the mini force fuel, there's a mounting bracket that comes along with it that can be mounted on three of the sides or even on the bottom of it. But with this compact design, it opens up the window of possible mounting locations in the vehicle, including mounting on its side up against a frame rail underneath the vehicle. One of these things are really compact and can fit in pretty much any setup that you have. And that concludes everything that there is to know about the force fuel delivery systems. As you can tell, there's a solution for everything from compact to high horsepower applications. And it's not so mysterious on how the systems work now and how easy they are to service. Whether it's changing out a filter or a fuel pump or even the regulator, they're very simple to do and very simple to install on any vehicle. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Tech Tuesday. If you have any additional questions on the force fuel delivery systems, please reach out to us at our tech line. If you have any requests on additional tech videos, please comment below.